Well, uh, I'll be inside. <laughs> well, uh, he almost he almost murdered our entire sleeping village here. All right, I'm gonna make the journey now. I'm gonna make the journey to the high mountain over there. This seems like the highest point on the map, just to see what is over here, if there's anything. Probably nothing. Probably just gonna be a big waste of time, but uh, it'll be adventure time either way. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Scrapman, bringing you an episode of Colony Survival. We're taking a first look at this game. It comes out in the summer, and this is a game about uh, surviving in a colony. Uh, so let's let's play it. Oh, we got to name our colony. Like th this is literally I haven't I haven't played the game whatsoever. I took a brief look at the uh, the the tips in the, the the help manual, but other than that, I have no idea what I'm doing. So uh, this probably isn't gonna go well, but. That's always the fun part. All right, and we're gonna call it the scrapyard, just like my Discord server. If you aren't part of the Discord server, check the link in the description down below. Spawn monsters? Sure, why not? Starting difficulty? I'll go with normal. I'll, I'll go with normal. All right, let's uh, let's see how we do in the scrapyard. Starting up server. All right, basics. This is I think this is what I read. I don't remember most of it. Um, press F1, okay, good, F1 is going to be, oh, okay, whoa, whoa, the mouse is actually kind of fast. Whoa, look at the lighting, this is actually kind of cool, wait, am I just in the middle of a forest? I thought I was gonna have, like, at least, like, an open area, or a base or some. oh, why are you just floating there? Oh, I see what's happening now, okay, alright. So, just so you guys, this this looks to me a lot like Minecraft, but I honestly have no idea. I've never ever played Minecraft, so I don't know if this is uh, similar or different. But whoops, um, can I put that back? I think I can put that back, right? Okay, how do I? Oh, okay. All right. So there we go. I'm getting my controls now. So we might have to clear out an area. Um, I'm not too sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up the help menu again. So apparently, when it gets dark, um, we're gonna get attacked. So we might want to build something before we. Oh, press two to plant. We have to press two to plant our uh, our banner, which we need to mark our place. But I don't know if we want to place the banner yet. Let's explore a little bit more. Let's explore the woods and see what happens. Okay, so we can place different types of people with the command tool. We can have a wheat farmer. We can have a forester. Oh, we need an axe though. How do we get an axe? We have a flax farmer. What is flax? And a miner. All right, but what I want to do, I want to actually see. Can we go through the trees? Nope, nope. We can't go through the trees. Can we crouch? We can jump. We can't crouch. I want to see if there's any different types of terrain that might be somewhere or anywhere. I don't know. I don't know where to go. Ooh, ooh I see something. I see something. Oh, look at this. Here we go. See, I'm glad I didn't just set up camp right over there. Now we can actually see what else we have here. This is a nice. Big clearing, I think. Whoa, the sun is a little extreme over. I, it's it's all a silhouette. That is one huge silhouette. I can't see anything in that direction. All right, let's build base here. So uh, I guess we'll put our ban. Maybe I'm, I'm not gonna put my banner down yet. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a, a foundation down first. I think. Should I have grass or should I just put what? So we have planks, straw, log, temperate. Should I make it out of planks? Whoa. All right, I thought. I get I I don't know what I expected. I, I, I kind of expected it to be flat, but uh I, I guess not. So let's build a is, is these walls or are these or are these floors? I was I was planning on a floor, but I don't know. We have a lot of these though. We only have 50 stone bricks. So I'm gonna use this as the floor. Alright, so I'm just gonna build the basic foundation of what my first house is gonna be like. Ooh. Um I guess maybe moving sideways is the best technique to go here. Let's do it like this. I'm just gonna build some out of like a rectangle. How am I supposed to build like roofs and stuff? I guess it's gonna be a flat, a flat roof. I don't know if I could do like a sloped roof in this game or not. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be building a floor to be quite honest. But I have a lot of these, uh, I have a lot of material here for this type of thing. I don't even know how I get this to be honest, so if I ran out I'd be done. Um, I'm assuming that I have to get the planks, I have to do something with the wood. Maybe I need one of those, uh, specialist people things. Alright, is this- whoops. Is this a good foundation for a house? I feel like it's a little bit thin, but you know what, let's start putting some walls. Wait, how do I- How do I build on top? Is that really how I'm supposed to do that? Is there any way for me to build on top of this? Uh-oh. You know what's not good? I just realized that the sun is setting. 
You know what that means? That means we're gonna get attacked soon, and I have nothing here. I don't even have any weapons. How do I build stuff? Um, you know, I'm just gonna put the banner here. Well, there's our banner. Uh oh, this is not good. Yep, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I, I was just hoping to, to build a house before the sun set, and um, I realize I don't have any weapons. I don't have any any tools at all, really. Uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to get them yet. But I'm just gonna build a wall around myself and uh, hope hope that everything is gonna be okay. I just- I'm running out of wall. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Here comes people. Here comes- here comes zombies. What am I supposed to do? How do I attack? I don't know what to do. Is he- Is he gonna attack me? Oh, he's gonna attack me. Okay, all right. Um, uh, I guess we just gotta wait it out. Is he gonna go after my flag? Don't go after my flag. Please don't go after. I mean, I think I have to protect this thing. Oh no. Oh no, this is terrible. Hey, stop it. Stop. Did I? Did I kill him? You know what? This is a good idea. I'm actually gonna. I'm gonna do this. There we go. Now nobody can get my flag. All right, I think I think we may have survived the first wave. All right, so I'm gonna take a look through the uh, through the help menu again and see if I can figure out how exactly to use my weapons if I have any. Ah, ah there's, uh, there's, uh, get out of here! Out of F1. I thought I thought there was only gonna be one. Th Mister. Siege mode activated for this night. Food requirements increased because the banner is disconnected from the world. What? Do I have to... I can't have it like that? Can I get something from him? Oh, he disappeared. He just collapsed out of nowhere. I'm just gonna place a wheat farmer, um, on the grass right here. Too small. Too small. There we go. Alright, let's just make the smallest for now. No unemployed colonists left to take one remaining job. How do I get colonists? Oh, oh, right, oh, okay. This is why reading instructions is good, people. I gotta right-click the banner to recruit colonists. Recruit a colonist. Colonist requires five food per day and a bed. Recruiting a colonist costs 50 food units. Couldn't, not enough free beds. Oh, I need to build a bed. I think it said I to build a bed. So let's go ahead and press I right here. Oh, I have an inventory. <laughs> Why didn't it say I for inventory? It said I to build a bed. Telling me I had an inventory would have been, I think, a little bit better. So let's uh, let's go ahead and put our bed in our inventory. What's this? Torch. We have all this stuff that I didn't know. Oh wait, no, this is stockpile. I don't want stockpile. Crafting. Wait, what? What is going on here? There we go. Okay, so now I can build a bed. Um, which way do I want? I guess I'll have the bed like this. Alright, we'll build a bed there. Alright, yeah, now we have all kinds of beds, so let's, let's start putting some beds in here. I'm figuring it out, figuring it out slowly. There we go, let's put another bed over here. Another bed right here. He's a little bit close to the edge, isn't he? Alright, now we can hopefully recruit a colonist. Oh, there's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. Now we're gonna need some food. Uh, so let's go ahead and put a farmer over here with the command tool, I think we use. Wheat farmer. Ah, yes. Are you the wheat farmer? Now I've, I wish I made this bigger. Can I make it bigger? Yeah, I'm gonna remove the area. Sorry, sorry, dude. I don't want you to get started just quite yet. I want to actually make the area much bigger. Wait, no. No, stop, stop it. Remove area. Nope, get... Remove area. Why did this happen? I didn't want this to happen. This is more like it. Yeah, but too large. Okay. We're gonna go the largest we can get. Alright, there we go. Come here, wheat farmer. Wheat farmer, where are you, wheat farmer? Come on, wheat farmer. Are you the wheat farmer? Are you gonna farm some wheat for me? Thank ya. Alright, what else do we have? For an axe, I need iron. So we need iron. In order to get iron, we actually have to dig down into the ground. But wait, in order to get iron, I need... Let's find out. Actually, I might be able to get iron myself. So we're gonna go behind our place 
over, we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna make our, our iron mine by, I think all we have to do is we just have to dig way down. I think once we dig far enough down, then we'll actually, we'll hit iron ore, and then we can do stuff from there. But you know what? One of the things I recommended was building like a moat, so apparently monsters cannot get over two blocks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make one little path entrance, because we have to leave our area um, accessible, otherwise we will be sieged and we will not have any food production. So what I'm gonna do is, I shouldn't have built the farm so far away from my place. I'm gonna try to build a moat around this entire place that is two blocks deep, and that way the people or the zombies won't be able to actually get in. Except through that one little area, which hopefully they won't find. But I'm totally, I'm gonna fail at doing this in time, I know I am. This is, this is quicker. Uh-oh, the night is coming. I am not anywhere near where I need to be. Alright, I should start going this way now. Wait, so can I actually- can I make myself a bow with arrows? Do I have a bow? <gasps> ah, I have a bow! Okay, okay, good. I, now I have a defense. Excellent. You know what, I should probably get up and, uh, and defend my place now. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Die. 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 Got him. Okay. Alright, I feel like... I feel like this is gonna be easy now. Can I get anything from him? Whoops! Whoops! That's not what I meant to do, I'm sorry. Do I have... I have grass somewhere. Let's get that grass back out. We'll just fill that in. Alright, now I know what I'm doing. Die! Um, die! Yes, okay. Alright, we're killing the zombies. We're safe now. I will protect us. I will protect us. Alright, any more zombies? You guys see any more zombies? Are they sleeping? They're so flat. Look how flat they are. Oh, oh, I see one. Let's see if I can do long distance. Nope. And... <laughs> Got him! Nailed him! Sniped! Okay. Back to the moat. Uh oh, I see another zombie. And... <laughs> Got him. How are we doing? Any zombies around? Any zombies? Zombies? Nope. Okay. Whoa, I just went way too far forward. Oh, and I see a bunch of zombies. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of zombies. There's a lot of zombies. We gotta- we got some work to do. We got some work to do. It's a good thing it's only a one-shot kill. I hope they don't get stronger as we- as we get better. Nope. Come on. Nope. Oh, you turned at the last second. I did a horrible job at lining up this moat, by the way. Like, see, here's the start. And then I went way over there, but you know what? That's okay because we can actually just hop down here now and finish it up. All right, and there is the finished moat. See, now this zombie can't get to me unless he goes through here. This is the only way he can go. Everything else is pretty well protected, I think. But you know what? Uh, we're gonna. Oh, you're gonna die from the. You're gonna die from the light, aren't you? Isn't the light gonna kill you? Why isn't... The sun's coming up, dude. Are you really gonna make it in here before the sun kills you? Up oh, there it goes. He's a floppy zombie now. Floppy zombie. Alright, so I'm still unsure. I don't think I have quivers. I need quivers in order to recruit the, uh, the archers. But I don't see anything about quivers. Oh, there's the quivers. Okay, good, good, good. Quivers, found it. So, uh, can I give you a quiver? I guess I could- if I just put one archer- Here we go. One archer right there. And one archer right there. So that should protect our- our entrance from where the zombies are gonna be coming in. And he needs some seeds. Alright, now let's get back to our mine. We actually need, uh, we need the mine thing to happen, which I started off over here. So now, what is the best way to do this? I have no idea, to be honest. Um, I guess I gotta keep- I gotta keep it accessible, so I'm gonna have to make it like a staircase. Ooh, we're get we got to a different a different material down here. Oh, what is it? What is it? What is that material? Why is it not in my inventory? Do I have to clear out? Do I have to keep a spot clear like this? How about now? I'm not seeing it show up. All right. Well. There must be something I'm not getting, but, uh, we're gonna keep heading down because we need to reach the iron ore. 
Oh, I see something different now. We're reaching something different. How far down are we? We're a decent ways down. We are- we've gotten a decent ways down, so I don't know what this is. Is, is this actually gonna give us something? Oh, I think this is it. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna create- I'm gonna create a furnace, because maybe we need the furnace to make some iron first, which will then give us a pickaxe, which will then get us some more iron. Alright, I'm just gonna put the furnace right- right there. Okay, so now what do we do with the furnace? Are you gonna do something with the furnace for me? What- what do you need? What's that? Oh, he's- Oh, he needs a bow! I need to give someone- I need to give them bows. Apparently the quiver is not enough. How do I give somebody something, though? Ah! I shot him. Accidentally. I guess, maybe if I just put it back here? Oh, yes, now he is- Now- now he has the bow. Which means I don't have it. What if I want it back? You stole it! You stole my bow, and you're not gonna- are you not gonna give it back? Can I- Can I, like, look at your inventory? That's not fair if I can't look at your inventory. Wait, I have iron ingots. Ah, okay, I figured it out. I need to do this quick. I need a workbench. Um, where- in order to the workbench, I need planks. I have planks. Why is it red? I have planks. If I do that- alright, there we go. I have to have the planks on me. Now I need to build a workbench. Which I- will- is that a workbench? Alright, now I need- I need more colonists. I need another bed. So we need to make a bed quickly, 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 quickly. Oh, no, I want that here. And, uh, I'm just gonna build the bed. Uh, I'm gonna build the- I'm gonna build the bed over here. There we go. So now, we can recruit... A colonist. And I want him- please- please do the craft bench. Where- where are you going? Where- where you- no, you're- you're supposed to do the crafting. You're the crafter. Yes! What are you making? He's making planks? Okay. I want you to make some more bows. Is he going to bed? Oh, they're going to bed. Typical. Typical. Can't expect anyone to do work around here. And now, you stole my bow. I really would- Oh wait, no. Do I have another one? Oh, I think I have another one. Alright, never mind. Never mind. I'm happy. I'm happy. You got my bow. Oh! Okay, I'm stupid. I just figured- I just figured some stuff out. So, in order to get this stuff, it, it doesn't have to be in our stockpile, it has to be on our person. So that's- that's why I was confused, because I couldn't- I couldn't make that stuff, I didn't think. But I could, because I needed to put it on myself. Okay. So, I'm gonna actually- I wanna see how these people do. I'm gonna recruit another colonist, if I can. And this guy- oh, could- I don't have enough free beds, I need another bed first. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and build this out a little bit more. There we go, so now I can build another bed right here. And now we can recruit another colonist. Could not recruit colonists, not enough food in the stockpile. Oh, we have six food! We have six food! I thought we were supposed to be getting wheat. For the food! Uh oh, we're gonna die. I think we're gonna die. After two nights, it'll be fully grown and we harvest it, but the wheat has low food value. We need an oven. Place it to recruit a baker who will in turn put it into turn it into bread. All right, we need to put a crate. We need to put a crate nearby for the wheat. So let's get a crate. Put that down here, and we're just gonna put the crate right there. We're gonna put another crate right there, and then we're gonna need an oven. How do we build an oven? All right, and then we're gonna build an oven right here. And we need to change one of these guys' jobs. Who with the purple guy? The purple guy is not doing anything. How do I change your job? I don't think I can change your job while you're sleeping, can I? Nope. Hey, our archer's doing pretty good. Good job, archer. Oh, they fell into the moat. Look at that, the moat's totally working. Uh-oh, he's getting in, archer. Archer, there you go. You know what, I'm gonna help you out here. Because uh, I got nothing better to do right now. Oh, there we go. And lead him. Oh, he turned right at the last second. And lead him. There we go. And dead. And dead. Oh, how about that guy way down there? You think I can get him? Oh, 
Oh no, that was the sun. My bad. I totally thought I got him. <laughs> okay, now can I change your job? Oh, no, I don't want to shoot you. I just want to change... I want to change your job. Can I please... I, I don't know how to tell who's what. Okay, we're gathering wheat. Oh, we have zero food, which is not good. But I think I have a pickaxe now, so I'm gonna... Oh, we can have a forester, we can have miners. But I'm thinking miner, let's build a miner. We're gonna go down into the mine. And I'm actually going to clear out... Oh, this is actually terrible. I need to clear out the ceiling section so I can jump down a little bit quicker. Whoops, I'm using my arrows. Wait, can I use my pickaxe down here? Is this gonna be quicker? It doesn't feel much quicker. This one has rocks on it. Oh, I just realized some of this is nothing. Like, this right here is nothing. But this actually gets us some coal ore. So that's what we need to find down here for the coal ore. It's not just the stuff that doesn't do anything. It's, oh, there we go. And what is that? That is iron ore. Okay, so we have coal ore and iron ore. What do we- oh, and that's a new one too. Okay, what is this? Oh, this one takes a long time. Wow. And this is gold ore. Okay. What do we do with gold ore though? I haven't- I haven't seen any like currency options or like selling or trading. And what is this? Gypsum? Okay. Alright, so apparently we need to actually really expand this mine. But how does a miner work? Let's uh, let's let's re try to recruit a miner. Nope, not a forester. Let's go with miner. Oh, I have to choose something in particular. All right. So what what is most useful to us? In order to create stuff, we need iron, 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 and gold for mint. A shop to buy flax seeds. All right. So iron seems like the most useful. So which one was iron? Ah, yes. This is the iron. So we're gonna put the. Oh, that's not a miner. We're gonna put the miner on th this. In order to get a miner, we need to recruit another one. Oh, we're getting food now. Yeah, our food production is now up. All right, I just did a little bit of research. It seems like the job assignment is automatic. There's no way for me to switch jobs. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna delete stuff that I don't want people to have. I don't want, I don't want a furnace person yet. So I'm gonna delete the furnace. I don't know if I want the crafter yet. I want a baker over a crafter. So that crafter is going to switch jobs now. I think that's him. I don't know what he's gonna be though, because he's asleep. Oh, someone, all right, I don't want this quiver either. Yep, yeah, you be something useful. Or go to sleep, sure, whatever. All right, and then I'll be, I know, you know what, I don't want you on the quiver either. You're no archers. I'm gonna be the sole archer. Don't worry, I'll defend us, you guys go to sleep, and I'm gonna need you guys to uh, take the appropriate jobs. And actually, now we have one excess, um, we have one excess job position, or one excess person to fill in a job position, so I'm gonna put the crafting table back. All right, now it's time to defend. Long distance snipe. Got it. What about you? Long distance. Long distance. Got him. All right, and long distance. All right, I'm getting better at this. Did I see red eyes? Oh no, that's his feet. But yeah, we're definitely getting some more zombies. All right, I guess I can start trying to build up this base a little bit more. Let's go ahead and put some more of these in. Wait for our people to wake up. There we go. All right, what are we going to do? What's everybody doing? We got another wheat farmer. Another wheat farmer would be nice. We can get some more food. Because right now our food per day, it costs 25 and we only have 22. So someone's going to die. Wait, why is he? Oh, is he going to go mine? Are you going to be our miner? All right, nice. Well, now we have another. We have another wheat farmer. We've got this guy's probably our baker. No, this guy's probably our baker getting baking stuff. Um, you are a crafter, okay? And you know what? This this is just a waste. This is just unnecessary space right here. We do not need this protection anymore. All right, let's go follow. I think our miner should be going down over here. So we're gonna have to take care of him when the archers. Yep, there he goes. Okay, excellent. And at. I'm also gonna, I'm gonna make this a little bit easier to get down by, uh, expanding our ceiling a little bit. Alright, there we go. That should be easier and quicker to go down now. Going up, though, is still 
a bit tedious. We gotta jump every single step. All right, let's focus on our actual building now. Let's actually try to make this look like something. My other I still don't know if I'm able to build on top of these things. I might have to, oh, you know what? I know how to do it. This is how I gotta do it. Like this, and now I can place. Yeah, there we go. Almost missed one though. All right, we're starting to get a little bit of a house here. I left a door open for the farmers and stuff to have an easy access. Um, our food is now at 12.6. I don't know why we're losing food when I thought we would be uh, making more food, but uh, we'll figure out what that means later on, I hope. Um, whoops. And uh, I'm not gonna build like a, a front wall yet because I don't know how far out I want to expand this section. But now we have a lot more room. We can add some more beds with some more. Maybe we can recruit. Can we recruit anything more right now? Let's see if we can recruit some more. No, we can't. We don't have any food. That's right. We don't have any food. All right. Another night is upon us, and it is time for me to kill some zombies. But first, I want to see. Wait, is he gonna? I want to see where they'll come across. Where? All right, so there we go. Yeah, I left a little bit more of a wider area because I kept falling in here, so I wanted to be able to get up. Um, so I put some put some steps in there, which gives them a little bit of a bigger area, big, bigger bigger tunnel to go through. But we're gonna deal with it because we are way OP right now with our with our bow and arrows. Some uh, high tech weaponry right here. No match. These zombies are no match for us. You know, actually, well. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm feeling confident enough. I'm, I'm gonna start building a little bit more of our floor here while uh, it's nighttime. People are gonna wake up and be like, where'd this extra space come from? And I'm gonna build an archway. An archway, meaning a, a block, more like more like a blockway. Oh, did I just hurt myself? I hurt myself jumping down from that. I didn't know that could happen. Well, now I do. Whoa, ah, I'll be inside. <laughs> Well, uh, he almost he almost murdered our entire sleeping village here. That was that was uh, got a little cocky, I guess. Got a little cocky. Probably should have been paying attention, but I wasn't. Up, oh, up. Oh, we got some more over here. Nope. 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 All right. Let me finish this archway. Make make this look a little bit nicer. All right. I'm out of stone bricks. I wasn't able to finish it, unfortunately. Um, I don't know how to actually get stone bricks. What are these guys doing? Oh, we could put torches. Torches would be nice. Let's put a torch right there. Right there. Can we put them on the walls too? Yeah, there we go. How are we looking? This is looking pretty nice. Not bad, not bad. You guys having a good sleep? You glad, you glad I put these torches here to light up the room while you try to sleep? Why are we having two empty beds? Did I put extra beds in? Bed six, colonist five. Oh, the miner's probably coming back up. There he is. <sighs> and it is the morning of the next day. Or today, rather. It's the morning of today. There's always the morning of today. So, let's see how our food does. And then, for the very end of the episode, I see a big mountain back there. Oh, it just disappeared. But there's a big mountain back here, and I actually want to see. There's different trees up there too. It looks like I want to. I want to try to see if I can get up there. Yeah, there. Oh, oh, I fell in my mine. I <laughs> fell in my mine. I want to see if I can get up there and what that's like. And uh, we'll we'll end the episode with that. But first, let's see what's going on. Is our baker baking? They're doing the check mark thing again. They should be using this stuff. Maybe I'm gonna put the oven in the corner right here. All right now. Who's gonna use the oven? Are you gonna use the oven? Yes, yes. No. What? Don't tease me like that. All right, see now, there, there's the difference. The crafter went back and he goes here to craft, he's crafting planks. But the baker, which I'm assuming this guy is, doesn't seem to ever go to the oven to bake. He just stays here and gathers wheat, presumably. So when does he actually bake? All right, I'm gonna make the journey now. I'm gonna make the journey to the high mountain over there. This seems like the highest point on the map, just to see what is over here, if there's anything. Probably nothing. Probably just gonna be a big waste of time, but uh, it'll be adventure time either way. It's about midday right now. Hopefully I'll be able to make it. Oh, wow, it goes really high up there. I wonder if there's any uh, other materials. Oh, wow, it gets really steep up here. I don't even think I can jump that. I'm gonna have to carve my way up. There we go. 
Are those different trees? I, I feel like they're different trees. I just don't know yet. We're gonna make our way over there. Oh, the lighting is so weird up here. I wonder if I'll be able to see my house from up here. All right, here we go. What's it gonna be like? Why is it so dark up here all of a sudden? Oh, these are different trees. Is this... What is this? Is that something... Leaves taiga, so it's a different type of leaf. I don't know what we would need that for, but I'm just gonna collect a bunch of it right now. All right, we're going up further. Man, look how high, it's just so steep right now. We're almost there, I think. I think I see the top. Whoa, it's different, it's different, what's this? What is that? Grass tundra. Oh, we can put different types of grass? Whoa, there's snow, it goes even higher. Uh oh, it's gonna get dark. Oh, I don't have any archers on my place. Oh, this was a bad idea. I didn't leave any archers. Is there a save? Can I save? I don't see a save. You know what? I'm just gonna commit to it. If my village is destroyed, that's okay. I just wanna see what happens with the snowy stuff. Wait, is there stuff under- what's underneath? Okay, that's just the normal ground. Alright, here it goes. We're in the snow. What does it give us? Snow. Liter literally just snow. Alright, let's get to the top. Just so we can say we made it all the way to the top of the map. Very, very highest point. And then we're gonna go back and see if the, uh, the zombies have decimated our colony. It keeps going? What? What? Look at how big- I had- I thought I was at the edge of the map already. Oh boy. Why did I do this? Why didn't I leave an archer at home? I should have left an archer. I, everything would have been fine. I'm pretty sure one single archer. Oh my god, look how much higher this goes. One single archer would have done it all. And I left it completely defenseless. Because I am not a smart man. I wonder if any zombies would get up here. <gasps> we're almost here. I think we're almost there. There better not be a whole nother thing. Alright, this right here, ladies and gentlemen. We have reached the top of the world. Probably for the death of our entire village. But, uh, was it worth it? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's, what? Is there anything interesting down here? Nope. One of my colonists. Oh no, they're dying. My wheat farmer has died. Two of my wheat farmers has died. Oh no, the job crafter, the crafter has died, the miner has died, the baker has died. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, now I'm dying. Uh oh. Uh, I died. Well, that was fun. Um, I'm gonna, ch I'm gonna chalk this up as this was the practice episode. Let's see what happens if they kill me. You gonna try to kill me? You gonna, you gonna try to kill me? 25% per hit? Alright. Well, I'm gonna chalk it up to us. This was the practice episode. If you want to see me try to actually do something a little bit more than now that I know what I'm doing, let me know down in the comments. Maybe I'll try one or two more episodes. I don't know. I actually kind of enjoyed it. I want to see what more we can do with uh, the other stuff that is in here. We can build like a shop and so- Oh, ah, ah, this is attacking me. Okay. All right. Well, uh, leave a like if you liked the episode. Let me know if you want to see more. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Welcome to the end screen. Well, you'll probably click away before I get to tell you to subscribe for more fun. And if you really like me, but like not in a creepy way, support me on Patreon. Oh yeah, check out this awesome video I made over here. It's probably even better than this one. Or it might be worse, actually. But if you don't click it, I guess you'll never know.